We have no good audio right now, guys. Hold on now. Hold on guys, we're almost there. Whoa. Mm. I thought it was like really dirty at first. of uh like old but unopened stuff so uh this right here is probably, it was like i planned to build like five years ago and never did it um if you guys know cases this is a uh, pretty old um let me take off this dude's uh, phone number real quick um this is a uh, very retro case uh it was like 2016 2017 era um hold on let me look it up again the case came out in like 2014 yeah it was pretty old um, but yeah, this is an old school Corsair case. Um, amazing water cooling potential in a fluid design. Oh. Corsair, whoa. This is the Graphite 20, series. September of 2014. Yeah, so this one's a, a big one, but. Uh, we're using a 10 year old case right now, dude. Yeah, we're using a 10 year old case. This, this is, this is a, a grown ass kid. And then you guys will like this. It's power supply is a 2017 edition. So we're, we're going retro, ladies and gentlemen. So I believe that these two actually came together. Oh, nice. Same person. I think the same person bought them at the same time. Let's let's get this out of the box. Lower this table a little bit. But uh, I do very usual though. You know, it's gonna. I thought about making this one non-shippable, but then I'm like, you know, it has the box, and it's not like it's super expensive parts. So um, yeah, this one will be available at PC Bros. One year warranty, parts and labor. Buy <coughs> today, help support us, repair our door. Uh huh. Please. We need a door fund. We need a door fund. But I'm just saying, if anyone, anyone tries it again, we're going to have all the measures in place. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got them all. That car ain't getting away undamaged. Uh -uh. That car ain't getting away. We got turrets. We got... We have compounds that will trap your car we and have you try to pull up. We, we built a moat. A moat would be sick, like having a little bridge, a little yeah. draw bridge to get in. Uh, see, Tool says uh, Matt and Jackson will be shipping this PC personally. Oh, oh no. no, Tool will box it for Tool you Tool will do it personally. What's up, gamer? What's the build for? I don't know. We just felt like building something. Uh, if you don't know, we build PCs pretty much every morning for PCBros.tech or PC Business. And it will go to PC Bros for the one-year warranty. Remember the saying, guys. PC Bros is where it goes. PC Bros is where it goes. Do you like that deal I worked out for the lights? It's a good deal. Yeah, it feels, it feels pretty good. <coughs> Older. And we basically get a full PC to sell out of it. We're only missing a case at that That's point. That's good. I like it. Gamer 2.0, what's up? This is a bit smaller than the case. The box actually shows, but. Oh, yeah. It's like actually a little more respectable, you know? Yeah. So this isn't like huge. The box is definitely a little overkill. Oh, this is some off white action right here. Mm. I don't even know if I knew it was white. I didn't know either. I don't think I got a single white component. Well, here we are. It's a good thing it's like white and black, you know, it's a black interior. Yeah, it's ain't that bad. Good. I mean, it's big, but it's not like, it's not new Corsair stuff big. <laughs> Some so of them are like. Yeah, you know, for the person asking how much this build is, it's a little expensive, all right? Ready for the price? 12. 12. 1200. 1200 bucks. Which I know for AM4 um, and some older hardware may sound expensive, but uh, it is a very, very unique build. Yes. That is something that you would not be able to buy anymore. Um, so there's, there's a little bit of cost added on to that. And like I said, it comes with our one-year warranty. It'll have Windows 11 Pro installed on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a resto mod, you know, or like a sleeper. It's not really sleeping, though. It's not sleeping. It's awake. Um, I kind of dig that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is, uh, is old-school Corsair. 
Yeah, and with the 5700X paired with the 7600, it'll be completely 1440p, like, you know, higher fresh rate ready. Yes, sir. Triple A's, eSports, whatever you throw at it. Pinky Tech, what's up, my dude? How's life, Pinky Tech? Pink Tech. Good morning from Greece. Well, how you doing? Welcome to Greece. <laughs> where's, where's our TTV the Greek at? Yeah, where's he at? Living the FN dream. Oh, the Fortnite dream? Yeah. You think that's what he meant? Yep. The Fortnite dream is what he meant. He's He's been grinding Fortnite all his life. Pinky tech. Everything's going fine. Good to hear. Good to hear. It's good. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's too much for Matt to handle by himself. I can't handle all this case. It's too much case it's for me. It's too much case for one man. It's too much case for one man to handle. But yeah, we've been getting some stuff <coughs> up on the website. I saw a lot of them have sold. You guys are just like going crazy with anything we put up there. So keep on buying. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, when I try to find a PC case three years now, I check this PC case who having there. Huh? When I try to find a PC case three years now, I check this PC case who having there. I'm not really sure where you're going with that, I'll be honest with you. But um, if you're saying you've been looking for this PC case for a while, it's because they don't really make it anymore. You find them on eBay, but they're like uh, three to $400 and they're yeah. used. So... Unfortunately, I don't need any more PC, so sadly I can't buy anything right now. We could buy a mouse pad. You got some merch. I'm just exactly. Saying, dude, see. Just saying. Oh yeah, that you, was, you have merch, don't you? I Jay? forgot about that. That was that was part of the the, the deal oh, for the lights. Merch? He said he, that, that's that hoodie over there. He said ah, I need a hoodie. Fire. I was like, all right, I got you. Fire. We'll take the advertising. But you have to wear it to work. <laughs> you have to wear it to work every day. I need some merch. Hey, I don't know where the PC bros. Speaking of that, I haven't ordered merch in a while, and I was looking running low. yesterday, and uh, not like running low, but there's some sizes that we're just completely out of. Oh. And like, I guess, you know, I guess no one has to tell me. You know, it's all good. It'll just order itself. Jay Dorsey says if those black hoodies become available, it'll be number one in line. They definitely could. We could do a black hoodie run. It's very possible. I will say, probably not right now. Yes. Because merch expensive. is the kind of thing that we just have to hang on to, and it like, yeah. literally is just sitting money. We gotta bounce back a little bit, guys. We've uh, spent some money, to say the least. <laughs> I think this model is the white piece case 750T from Corsair. Yes. <coughs> is that your new anti theft strat? Make towers too big to carry out, honestly. Yes. And we should start putting like those, um, you know how some clothes have those like ink explosion things where you yeah. like, pull them and they explode in your face? Yeah, they do that for like banks or like uh, like I've heard some fire alarms that do that. Be we fire. should like strap that. Every time we put a computer out there, we arm it, and then if they like rip it off the wall and then try to hit the power button, ink explodes on them. We need to do the one like the guy does the prank every or, like it's not like a prank. It's like where he gets the thieves to steal the package every year, yeah. and it has like tons of glitter and fart spray. Yeah, it's the time for us to start using Kensington locks. Yep, that's it. Lock it to the walls, baby. Tannerite in the builds, huh? What? They're, our deals are literally explosive. Dun, 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 Cooler dun, dun. master. Do you Cooler have master. a favorite case, like your dream build scenario? I have some cases I like building in right now, but I don't really have like a, oh my God, it's my favorite case. I, I would say, if, I'd say my favorite case in terms of like how cool and clean the builds turn out, I've been a huge fan of the Terra recently. The, the Fractal Terra. It's one of those things where, like, practically, if I ever built myself a mini ITX build for my use case, I don't really do a ton with my computer at home, so it'd probably be fine. But if I did a lot with my computer and plugged up a lot of stuff, I mean, mini ITX is just very limiting. But, I mean, yeah, it'd be, it'd be one of those cases that I'd be pretty happy with for my personal rig. I have the, uh, the, the 2000D in the other room, and um, that one's pretty, I mean, it that one's yeah. Base. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got a, what, a 4070 and a 7700 in there. Yeah. Liquid cooler. It's like decked out with fans, so that's you one thing. Fit some stuff. Yeah, that's one thing I would tell people. Also, if you, it would depend. Most people aren't in the situation like we are with our live stream here, but like I could never rock a mini ITX build for the stream here because 
Me, I take some other wars, not enough USB ports. <laughs> it's like one of those things where like you could, but like you'd have to, we'd have to do a lot. We'd have to we'd do, have a, to do like, lot to make and... it work. Yeah, it would be a yeah. mess, and there's a chance all that stuff wouldn't work. Um, but yeah, Mini ITX, you definitely, yeah, you, you have to do a little bit of work to make all that stuff happen, but um, it's a cool uh, form factor. It's a back end, Zach. Jeez. I think Zach has it in his office. There's more. If you turn the corner here, go straight. There's like a glass table. You know, like the room back here? Yeah. Just look in there. There should be two more, like right there on the table. Small 400 IPC would like to have a word with you. Yeah. What? What do they want to talk oh, about? Oh, yeah, no. Keyboard Cowboy, we use a ton. Like, for the stream we have, I, I don't even know how many USB devices I have plugged up. If I take a guess, probably 11 or 12. Probably like six. <laughs> six. Yeah, we have multiple webcams. Um, we have the uh, USB DAC for all our microphones. Um, I have my stream deck, my keyboard. Um, DSLR. Capture card. Well, capture card's internal. Uh, yeah, D yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, so it's internal, so. <clears throat> six to 11, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, yeah, because... Our streaming setup for the monthly live streams, we have webcams on, well, maybe one, maybe four setups, no, th three setups, three other setups. So that's three right there. Um, running up extenders, those pull a lot of bandwidth. Webcams in general, it's not like a keyboard, they pull bandwidth. So you need like good USB ports as well. Actually, you don't. <laughs> yeah. And that is true too. You can't really put capture cards in most small provider PCs because they come, an internal capture card because they come with one PCI slot. Yeah, that's really the biggest downfall, honestly. It's just yeah. really the PCIe lanes, but you can always get like risers and stuff. It's yeah. just like I said, you're getting to the point where it's like, it wouldn't make sense to go mini ITX. So you should just switch it up. That good luck with the Intel Arc A580. So someone else using the A580, good. Um, I was planning another uh, update to our best budget GPUs. And um, that was when we did our $500 build on. I was happy with, but obviously Arc still has its issues. Um, but it's it, it's interesting because it's the same price as the 3056 gig right now. Um, 3056 gig is not as fast as it, but the 3056 gig has more versatile uses with the no external power and stuff like that. So those two are definitely on the list. And it has ray three thing. It has ray three thing. And yeah, I think right now versus the 6600, it's a good like 30 to 40 dollars cheaper, and it kind of competes pretty closely in some games. There are some games where AMD goes far ahead of it because Intel Arc's gonna Intel Arc. Um, but there are some games and situations where it's uh, closer than you would think. It, I would say Intel GPU, if you want an Intel GPU and you wanna build a budget PC, which I think I might be planning here soon because it's getting so cheap. Um, I'm trying to do like the cheapest, like all new PC you could build right now. Um, the A380 is down to $100 or like $109. It's not amazing. It's definitely the worst of like the 6500 XT and 1650, well, now 3056 gig. But it's a good, what, 60 to $70 cheaper than those cards? Didn't the 8380 go under 100 for a little bit, too? It did. It was on sale at one point for $99. Yeah, it's up to like 100 That was a good deal. It's like at 100 to $109 right now, is what it's looking like. The, the um, what's it called? Low profile version is 119 which still, but what are 6400? It's like 130, 140 bucks at this point. Yeah, they've gone as they've also gone as cheap as like 109, I think, from yeah. time to time. So it really just Which, depends. Yeah, it's just it's just the price, you know. Like if you can get them for the like close to 100, it's a freaking awesome deal. <coughs> Looking on a mini <coughs> ITX build using the A380 for a budget editing PC, that would be a good use for it for sure. Oh, weird. What build will compare to a PS5? Realistically, there's there's no easy way to directly compare, but if you're talking about the raw horsepower of the processor that is in a PS5, the GPU comparison is an RX 6700 XT with like some sort of like 5000 series like Ryzen 7 CPU. That's like the direct like comparison in terms of the specs. But obviously with console, there's a lot of optimization that goes into play. Uh, with the games, terms of upscaling and stuff, and whenever you're running 4K, you're definitely not running native 4K, you're definitely using upscaling, so. Basically, you're cheating. There's a Spark um, Elf A380. Oh, those are cute. For nice. $99, there you go. I'll yeah. probably use that one then. I think that's the new egg one that you always see. Yeah, Sparkle's the ones, that make, they those blue cards. Yep. They're so cute. 
I'm just saying, man, one of those sparkle cards with an iceberg thermal. Mm. Mm. Iceberg thermal. It's one of those companies I'll just say, they're always going to be in my head. Iceberg thermal. And they still exist, so it's, it's cool. And so let's show them at 1660 Super. We just used one for a build the other day where we took a eBay, well, it was yesterday, uh, took an eBay uh, PC we got for 145 bucks, upgraded the CPU, added a 1660 Super because you can get those so easy for $100. And uh, for $289, really awesome little gaming PC. $289? The PC will be sold pretty much at cost <coughs> because it is a little bit rough around the edges. It has some scratches, a little worn down. So we are selling it basically at cost. Um, but you'll be able to get a PC, just, y'all tell me this is a good price. I, I know it's a good price, but y'all just tell me. Uh, Ryzen 5 2600, 16 gigs of RAM, 1660 Super, uh, 500 gigabyte, two and a half inch SSD, 500 watt power supply, inside like a really budget Roswell case, it's gonna be about 275. Ooh, that's, that's not good, man. <laughs> <laughs> horrible prices, right? 275, horrible prices. Oh, well, you wanna, you wanna lay this thing down? I'm ready. Oh, we need IO Shield. Where is that's that important. thing? Where's that thing at? Give me. I don't miss like the uh, the era of B550s, like where this it looks like an A320 borderline. Like it's just very basic. What are the costs of damages for what happened earlier? Well, if I just had to give a rough estimate right now in terms of loss, the repair estimates, and other stuff that we are still trying to figure out to factor in, we're getting close to the ten thousand yeah. dollar range. That was the exact number I had. In my I would head. say it's about ten thousand dollars in loss damages. And Not even really factoring second, how much we lost in terms of like customers walking up to the door and looking at it and be like, should I go inside there? I actually have witnessed it happen a couple times. There's been a couple where, times where customers walk yeah. up and it's like, there's a board on the door. Should I even walk in? Like, you know. So that, I, that I definitely of, think we're kind of losing some sales from that. And then on top of that, because of the amount of money that we're now going to, which we are, it's not like we didn't have security, but yes. um, we're going to have to spend more. And there's going to be monthly costs with it. Um, there's also going to be one time cost. And also the window perf, which uh, w like I forgot about that even, but yeah, yep. we're gonna have to completely re-vinyl our windows. We're talking about having to vinyl some other windows now. I feel like we're gonna be like 15, like 15 K into getting it back. And uh, I don't know if we ever made it apparent, but when you, uh, when you rent a place, <laughs> none of that's covered. No, that's covered, smile. I remember on this one stream, I remember but that's we what talked insurance about is for. it. Yeah, it's, that's why insurance is so great, they say. But yeah, I know in the one stream we kind of talked about it and you guys were asking, you're like, yeah, who's going to pay? And we were like, we don't really know. But yeah, it's, it's, it's on us. us. However we do it. Yeah. Obviously, we're working with insurance, but no clue how and when or anything that's going to work. It's a big uh, case, man. Look at all the freaking hard drive cages. That's crazy. That's nice of you, Bruce. I appreciate that. Did Bruce say something nice? He said he's going to do an ad for free for us. <gasps> Bruce, thank, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you want, you can uh, you, you you can say that we have deals worth stealing. <laughs> if you want, if you want that shot, yeah, deals worth stealing. We we added to the end of one of our videos, Monday's video, by the way. If you make it to the end card, we added a little joke about what happened. We were like busting down the door for our deals, and then we showed the clip of the guy running into the the front door. So we definitely, I'm sure some people will comment that. We need to pin that. Have some people actually make it to the yeah, make the it to the end and be like, hold. End, you know? It's gonna really confuse people because there's like no context. <laughs> it's just like deals worth uh, stealing or breaking in. Or I haven't gotten to actually see it yet. McAllister said he like wasn't quite ready. Well, he didn't. Uh, well, he saw what we were saying. And he didn't put it at first mm. because he was like, I didn't know if you really wanted to do that. And I was like, yes, <laughs> we need to at this point. We'll get the old explanation video because we need more content in there anyways. We'll we'll do the whole explanation video um, some point because we want to get like everything reset up. We want to see if there's a conclusion to this and have some sort of like video being like, hey, this is what happened and here's the ending of it. Right now we're kind of in limbo, but there will be a video on it because I mean, you know what? We have a YouTube yeah. channel. <laughs> Let's try to get something back from this. I definitely expect it to be like <laughs> within a week or two, I think we'll kind of have like some some either closure because maybe we were able to find the person or closure because we've gotten Get all, our all of our security stuff Thanks done. Stuff. We've gotten some insurance money yeah. and, you know, hopefully somewhat happy ending. Doorbusters literally at PC Bros. Exactly. Yeah. They're busting at the seams. I have a friend I met in college who may want to buy a PC. If you're all keep you posted, we'll do it, Bruce. Let's Sweet. go. Get them off Xbox. Just, yeah, just tell them to order online. He doesn't need to, like drive in or anything you know yeah literally don't make sure he doesn't drive through the door dude oh i can already imagine that pc bros drive through ready <laughs> drive through ready <laughs> uh 
Uh, what are the ways to make your PC run faster? Well, it depends on what your specs are. I mean, at, at some point, your specs are what your specs are, but the basic stuff you can do is make sure your Windows is fully up to date, get rid of any bloatware you have on your PC. Um, some basic upgrades or basic things would be like removing unnecessary programs, uh, check for viruses, you know, there's, there's certain things that like clog down the speed of your PC, but if you're talking about like have more FPS in games, most of the time, that's upgrades. God, this freaking case is so tall, this is just like barely reaching. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. I have the flu? Oh, no. Oh, Scuba. Yeah, Zach, by the way, Zach kind of mentioned, I was playing some more watch with him yesterday, he kind of made it sound like, a, that's the PCI you do, I'm like, hurt. <laughs> um, that's why it's short. He made it sound like Friday. Is there a day back? back. Alright, cool. Yeah. That sounds good to me. He seemed fine with the whole half. <clears throat> yeah. I, so we'll just update what we have <clears throat> in there. And that. Make sure XMP is enabled, but if you start getting blue screens and crashes, I, it's not worth the headache. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. There are certain like platforms like first gen Ryzen really, really, really wants fast RAM. Like it is a big difference, but newer gen, it's not as big of a deal. Whoa, that is a long list. What's the list? Thank you. Yes, that is the case we're using. <laughs> it's a copy paste of the entire spec <laughs> of this case. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything Graphite 780 uh, case form factor, full tower, case mother of support, mini ITX, micro ITX, ATX, EATX, XL ATX, weight 13.45, radiator compatibility 120, 140, 240, 283, 60, maximum GPU length 355 millimeters, uh, maximum power supply. Oh, stop chat, you're moving. 260 mil. Corsair Link enabled, no compatible liquid coolers, H55, H, okay, well, there it goes, all right. Yeah, Not good luck good. finding this case, by the way. This was a, we have a PC shop, and this guy brought it in unopened and was like, I want to get rid of it. This is probably, like, my favorite part of, of owning the PC the shop way. is that we get, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we get we get a lot of cool stuff like this. Yeah, so this it's, is it's definitely fun. one of the cooler ones. It's fun Besides, getting all like, these random things. Yeah, so the only other ones I can think of is the green Corsair case. That was sick, the ammo crate style one. Uh, the We've gotten like a Cosmos or two, so those are really cool. And then this one. Uh, what? You had, a, you had a screw. Which AliExpress power supply? I don't think we bought a power supply from AliExpress recently, Sharky. If you're talking about from the um, AliExpress video, the, uh, what's it called? The um, prism, not prism, the, uh, the prison. What was the one? Ah, oh, crap, forgot the name of the PBO one. The PBO, what is it, a power supply? Yeah, the power supply. There's Captain, there's a Raptor. The one they were talking about because uh, the light flickered. On a power supply? Yeah, it was for the, uh, what was it called? Chat, help me. Oh, the spirit. The spirit. Mm. We were like, the spirit is with us because the light flickered. Oh, that light. Yeah. I'm not thinking yeah, you mean like light. a power supply. No, light. No, no, like, no. I don't think we've got Yeah, no, we're talking about the, the spirit power supply. That was not from AliExpress. That was an Amazon power supply. It wasn't clear. The only thing we bought on AliExpress for that video was the CPU motherboard RAM combo. And then Jackson bought his SSD. Hmm. Screws are too short. Yeah, so spirit is, uh, the spirit is still with us. The spirit will be with us. Yep. Zai spirit. It is so big. Yes, it is huge. We're all talking about uh, the case. They, this guy is obsessed with the case. He said, oh. I'm oh, so big. God, it's huge. Thank you for streaming. It's very educational. <laughs> You're welcome. We're geniuses, I know. Just kidding. We don't know what the hell we're doing. I would honestly kind of compare us to little Einsteins. Mm -hmm. Little Einsteins. Without the Einsteins. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> I like how the, the case, like the radiator has rubber like mounts so it's even quieter. It has wubba. I, wonder how much, I think this case when I read, I think it was like a, a, a $200 case new. Hmm. It was not cheap back then. No. I w you wouldn't have caught me buying anything like this. No, this would be expensive. Can you imagine some dweeb back in the day just having this hard drive cage full? Oh, it would been totally full. A couple of young Sheldons over here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. We're young Sheldons. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't 
noticed all this. It's nice. It's got all the buttons. You can change the fan speed. Yay. I'm about to launch <coughs> uh, a new, I'm about to launch Crisis. I need to up my fan speed to make sure my graphics card is at Ugh. optimal performance. I can't imagine back in the day, like, actually being like, all right, I'm launching game. Time to manually change my fan speed. Well, they were definitely people. I would probably use three or four of those hard drive bays. Who? Yeah. It's a lot of hard drives. Well, I guess you can buy this if you really want it, but I wouldn't even touch the hard drives. We got a, what is this, a one terabyte in here, guys? I would add more NVMEs. I'd keep this thing clean AF. Is it possible to transfer an old SSD um, from an old PC to a new PC and get everything up and running without reinstalling? Sometimes. Um, it depends on the transfer. Most of the time, it's recommended to clone it, um, especially if you have a major hardware change. Like if you change like entire motherboard platforms, uh, sometimes the drivers could be a problem. But if you do go through the effort of uninstalling most of the drivers before you plop in that SSD, it could work, but it's not like guaranteed. Motherboard is kind of adorable in there. It looks tiny and it's a full size. It's actually like, honestly with the white and the silver, like, it's pretty, oh, fire. It's pretty, pretty, pretty fire. I thought this build was gonna look a lot goofier. I hope that, is that graphics card a three fan or a two fan? <laughs> uh, where is it? Mm, I think it's a two fan. It might be a small three fan. It might be a two fan, I don't know. I definitely wish I had gotten a three fan if I didn't, so just know that chat. Chut, chut, he tried. Chut. The case looks like it was made in the Halo universe. I can see that. <laughs> you, sir, got a small three fan. Okay, cool. It looks smaller than most two fans. What are these, look how tiny they are. Yeah, Where's the, is it like in the middle, or very uh, middle? I'm gonna think I'm gonna run it like through. Yeah, it'll look kind of cool actually. <clears throat> If you don't think it looks good, we can swap it, but this one might, might be nice. Uh, do you guys have any decent <coughs> free cloning tips? Are there any good free cloning tips? Really, okay, so we have gotten to the point where I know David just bought like a $180 NVMe cloner, so now we have all physical cloning. We have yeah. uh, SATA for hard drives. I think we have one that's like a SATA to NVMe, and then we have a straight NVMe to NVMe. Mm. Um, obviously, you're, it sounds like you're on a budget, so I mean, there's like a, what is it, the Hirons um, boot disk, whatever it's called, where it's basically like an operating system on a flash drive. It's not easy to use, but you can look it up. It's like a Linux-based thing. Probably find a tutorial um, on it, but. Yeah, but honestly, if you search free data migration tool or free cloning tool, they don't exist anymore. <laughs> like every single one that, you, that pops up on Google, it'll let you install it. It'll let you do everything, and as soon as you click clone or migrate OS pay. or whatever, it'll say you have to pay. And I promise you that because I've I've gone through this like many times in the last like couple of years. Easy US is great, Jay Dorsey. We've actually paid multiple times uh, for the single use licenses. It just sucks because it's about thirty bucks. Um, but there's been times where we're kind of in a pinch. But yeah, at this point. With our little physical clones, um, like our, our the physical drive cloners, they're just so much easier to use. Yeah. David at PC Bros is very good at making those work quick. Um, got USB three. That's how you know this was a premium case, you know? The USB three. Mm. It's a thick USB three too. Can pull like the Master Chief helmets. Well, what if I told you that goes to an entire costume? I know. I feel like I feel like no one knows that. You know? It's an entire costume. Remember we told the cop that was here about that, and he was like, "No way! No way!" Using uh, Hirons? Yeah, Hirons was what I was talking about. That's like a, you install it on a USB and it's actually like a Linux operating system. If Michael could have it his way, we'd be using that every day. You guys need to use Ubuntu now. Now. Now I'm concerned. Why, you're concerned now that there's a full costume? <laughs> what if we told you there was a good <laughs> reason? We hired the voice actor for Master Chief to do a video. And we had to dress up because of it, so. I mean, think about how extra it is, the fact that I ordered two, even. Yeah, we would even need to. Like, why? there's only one Master Chief. Yeah, but I, I feel like it would have been such an argument of, like, who's going to wear the who's costume? Who's going to wear you know? the damn costume? Like, I want to wear the costume. You want to wear the costume. We both want to wear it. That was the compromise, I wanna, guys. I, I want to sleep in the costume. See, that was a good example of money not well spent. We spent, yeah. um, spent a, a little over $1,000 on the costumes, and then... Almost that much. Five hundred. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, oh yeah, the case. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, that was that was kind of like. I think you had your vision with yeah. the video, and then I had mine. We both said, let's spend a ridiculous amount of money. And yeah, let's um, party. Yeah, and then we hired the the Master Chief voice actor, and that was almost 500 as well for those few lines that we got. We had a little streak there. We were doing some really expensive videos. Like, we had the Taco Bell one. Does this board have two USB 2s? Mm, yes. All right. Um, I'm going to assume this is the best spot for this yeah, one. Yeah, they're kind of an awkward spot, so that's fine. This case is all metal with plastic shell. Should you feed the other one through here? No. If you are, if you give me another one. No, I was just wondering. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I was just simply curious. It piqued my curiosity. <laughs> I need to know, does it have two USB 2s or not? I need to see if Jones recovered, because he was he was down bad yesterday. Oh, dude, I know. <laughs> dude, and then freaking... I, I was just almost at defeated by the end of the day yeah. when uh, when they were asking about taking down that tapestry. Yes. And in my mind, I'm just like, you know, they're right. It doesn't look great, but I'm also like, I swear to God, I feel like everything... <laughs> it, it's like one of those ones where it's like, you know, you're like, man, is my opinion just always wrong? Like, like is everything <laughs> that I think looked good and like every all the time and effort that I put to like build the shop, like, is it just wrong? Do I accept defeat or do I argue? You know, I was like, you guys can do what you want. I just, I don't want to do it. It's just, a, it's just improvements. You and Jake know? did it, you know. Yeah. I just really didn't want to do it, man, because I'm just like I've, I'm, I was already here till seven thirty no, yesterday. No, it's, it's different to be like, can I do this? I'll do it. Yes. Versus, can we do this? All right, go do it. And it's also like. <laughs> Can you do it well? Like that's yeah. another important thing to me. Like it needs to look Does it good. Look good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Jake actually like it. it's it's a little. I, mean, I think it's a little. Something's unlevel in that room. I don't know what it is, but it looks oh, good. It Probably. Yeah, Ren, you should come by. Our uh, our door is a little messed up, but you can still get in. You still get the you still get all the vibes of PC Rose. It's a really awesome place. We have some. We have a. Uh, a ton of free arcade machines so you can play as long as you want. They're all free, no coins. Um, we have a racing simulator that if you ask Jake nicely, he'll set up for you and you can play like Dirt Rally or F1. Um, that one's pretty cool. We don't know who broke the door. I mean, we have general ideas. There's, there's too many variables. There's but you see, like, it. some stuff looks crooked. Well, you know? it's like, it looks like he lined it up with the, where the two tables are. Right. And then the monitors are uneven. So then, like, and then we have that one uh, Star Wars poster that's right next to it. Then there's nothing on the other side. So, like, yeah. there's so many, like, variables. It looks fine, but it's still, you know. See, now I definitely, I definitely want to put more stuff in the walls. Yes. I'm, I'm a big, like... In certain environments, I should yes. say. Like, I love our hallways. I wish, I like, I, I want more posters and signs for the hallways. I this, think it's so cool having it look like a movie theater. This is a this is a big case. Do you have, uh, can you hook me up USB, or uh, uh, Molex, I mean? Mm, no. Aw. Oh. Rats! In fact, you need Molex. I should have known. Honestly, the case is big, but like it's not quite as no. big as I thought it was gonna be. We're just, it's actually a good size. We're just really small. We're tiny boys. <laughs> Matt and I are both five two, by we're the way. We're just really tiny. Uh, this is the Corsair um, 780T. Is it the Carbide 780T? Yes. Graphite. graphite. Yeah, I think they had like a whole like graphite series. There you go. Honestly, compared to a lot of old cases, I definitely think this is uh, this is a really good one. This is one of those it ones still that holds I would. Up. Uh, it's not super like. Yeah, I would compare this to, like the Cosmos, like yeah. in terms of its. Um, it kind of feels like a legendary design. It definitely can't fit two ATX motherboards. It's not that big, guys. No. It's like fifty ATX. Here, maybe the maybe the camera lens is uh, confusing you guys a little bit. Like, it's big, but like here's here's my hand. Like it's not that big, you know. Look at my, my arm, you know. It's not like I could fit like my entire body in here. Like chat, Maybe relax. Your up yourself. It's almost like you haven't seen some of the bigger cases we've built in, like the 1000D or, uh, well, that'd be the 10,000D or whatever the hell it's Have called. Have you all never seen one this big before? I love how it's all Corsair that does the massive cases. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys really 5'2? Yeah. 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 You didn't know that? We're short kings. My favorite thing to this date is still uh, every time someone finds out how tall Good Mythical Morning is. Yeah. Like Rhett and Link, because when tall. you see Link, you think, wow, he must be really short, but I think he's like 6'1 or 6'2, and Rhett's just like 6'8. He's, <laughs> just, he's just big. Which staff member could fit their entire body in here, Jonah? 
<laughs> we could shove a Jonah in here. What would be your reaction if I came in one day and I was like an inch taller than you? Would you question it? I'd or be like, you, like well, not say anything. I, I wouldn't say anything. I feel like an inch I couldn't tell <laughs> that well until like I was staying next to you before we film video, and I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> and and uh, Zach has to scale you Honestly, up. Honestly, I'd be like, take your shoes off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see something real quick. I was quick. like, I need to see something. Take your shoes off. I swear to God, I don't know if Zach she's watching, but this dude sometimes I swear wears stilts. There's days where he's like three inches taller than me and then days he where he feels the same height. That's what he does. And I call him out on it and he gets weird. And I'm like, I, what, what, what's happening? Are you, is he, you is he wearing boosters? boots? Yeah, I think he's wearing boots. It's jo yeah, it's Jonah's size. Jonah's size. Jonah's like 4'11", if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I feel like we have like an extremely average height in this office. Yeah, full average. Like I feel like the whole office, like it, on, I, I feel like Jake is like the one outlier yeah. who's like, what does Jake think? Like an inch taller than you? Or so do you think I actually, honestly have no idea. I thought I thought maybe he's like six foot, like six he, foot one or six yeah. foot two. He's probably like six foot one. Or he could just be the same height and he's just kind of lengthy. Yeah, he's a very lengthy guy. A little lengthy. Is this side paint off a bulge? This isn't the double. Okay, cool. I really thought that was acrylic see through on the back at first, and I was like, dude, this is. I, I take back Gross. everything I've said about this case. Yeah, they, they weren't that bold. Is this fan right here ran somewhere, or is it just like... Yeah, it's coming out this top right here. Okay, what the it's, hell is it it's plugged tight. into? It has to be plugged into something. I remember pushing it through there. Uh, oh, it's plugged oh, into the board. Is, is that... Uh, it's either plugged into the board or this head. It's plugged into something. I can okay. see... Yeah. Well, it's plugged in, so... It's plugged into something. I don't really care what it is. That's... What we need to do. I think I actually got them all hooked up right where that switch in the front will work. I feel like some enthusiasts will want that to work. Like I paid for I paid for my my uh, manual fans and I want to utilize them. My manual fans. And then I'll, I'll mock them. I'll be like, I hate my manual fans. Yeah guys, I do that. If you if you call me, if you call us the PC bros and I answer, I will mock you. Jay Dorsey, put some wheels on it and it could be Jonah's new regular traffic. We all oh, really oh. messed you all up. Whenever a customer calls to my PC and I'm working, I'm like, PC not working. Maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's how we maintain, maintain our five-star rating, guys. Can you tie this down a little bit somewhere? Which way? Like this this way? Kind of up. Uh, or something like that. I don't know. It's just like, it looks kind of weird when it's drooped down. Is that too tight? That's too tight. No. Like, look okay, here. I think I can. Hold. I mean, it looks fine. Hold it's on just... one second. Hold on one second. I'm gonna get a zip tie on this and you tell me what's like good. All right, tell me when. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, actually. <laughs> I, mean, I guess start doing, yeah, start doing that to customers. Well, actually. My, PC, my PC's not turning on and, and I'm like, so is it like, you know, like are you getting display out or like what's, what's going on? They're like, well, the display's not working. Actually, that <laughs> means it's turning on. You're just not getting display from the graphics card, you idiot. <laughs> Sounds like somebody <laughs> who we used to have. Oh, he's coming back. He, uh, oh, is this his way back? He called me again yesterday, dude. Oh, he's 20 ready. 20-minute phone call. He's like, I'm so... I, I know and, I'm here for a job. And but. I hate it because he actually taught me something on the phone oh, call. And I'm just like, I don't even want to admit that. He's learning. He said, I've learned a lot since the last time I worked for you guys. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm okay with like one day experience with him because I was like, you know, I just got to see yeah, what yeah, it's like. See yeah, it'd be good on. to see him, but I didn't. <laughs> that, that one day will turn into a lifetime. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> He's going to say, I'm back. <laughs> you know, I just remembered was the, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> it was the most tistic day of my life. The day that uh, our one guy up front that used to be here played a prank on him oh my god and, when i was getting a phone call about like <laughs> that was so bad dude that was horrible oh. you remember like you went home and everything yes and it like it really wasn't even like that big of a deal <sighs> so bad man that was apparently they're still like best friends too which yeah, i love well, honestly go. it's kind of a legacy at this that point it's a legacy <laughs> Work here, become friends forever. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. Can't complain. 
Well, actually, your warranty expired two days ago, so I'm not required to assist you. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. Fire. I almost feel like we need to do like a like a blooper like that or like a short where it's like how PC Bros treat customers, you oh, know? Oh, God. That'd be a good April Fools. Yes, it would. <laughs> I can just imagine going to the PC Bros channel where it's like, like uh, your PC Bros or I'm PC Bros, like customer support, and we call. Yeah. It's like, hi, this is PC Bros. <laughs> how can I help you? Don't waste my time, please. By the way, guys, who, if you're not a Twitch sub, um, April 1st, obviously April Fools, is a Monday. Um, we will be having a uh, video go live with a very funny ad spot. Yep. So be ready. And I think, did we end up sharing that ad spot to our Twitch sub? Yeah, so if you yeah. sub on Twitch and you get access to the Twitch-only section on our Discord, you'll get an early sneak peek. Yeah, there's uh, we're trying to get get good, kid, about... Uh, Post them in there. I think I know we were also talking about maybe posting some of like the uh, the burglary footage even. Yep. Which honestly, yeah. the person probably is in that chat, which would be great. Oh yeah. Are they a Twitch <laughs> sub? Maybe. I hope so. I mean, they, I hope they help pay. That'd be kind of ironic, honestly. <laughs> <coughs> what are you gonna do a viewer PC building challenge? How would that work? Like, you want us to have like a viewer come on, or do you just mean like like hypothetical build challenge? You see, this thing works. Oh, white fans. Oh. And RGB. <laughs> well, Jonah's going to get his wish. I get to change the fans to white. And these are only white. <laughs> we use the ARGB header, or is it a... It is Cooler Master again software. Ah, cool. Which has been a weird trend lately. Cooler Master. I don't think we've ever downloaded Cooler Master software until we've had all these. Uh... Here we are. Actually, looks really good. Chat, what do you all think? Fire. I actually really like this build. Believe it or not. Actually. The side panel is kind of cool too. I hate that it's acrylic, but it looks cool. The viewers choose the parts and the budget. I've thought about that before where it's like all Twitch decided PC builds, I guess. Maybe just, you all could do like a cursed PC build vote where like <laughs> you all vote as a unit on like a list of parts. That's what I was saying because I think the main thing is like, it's, it's, it's like hard. It's like, do we want it to be real? Or do you yeah. want it to be entertaining? Because real is just going to be a really meta yeah. build. Like, well, I remember Linus did one live where it was like they had like a bunch of parts, uh -huh. and they had people vote, and it was like you have to use that case, and they brought a bunch of other stuff. You have to use this. It ended up being like a really cursed PC build, but mm. that would be entertaining. Yeah, because and I think a lot of people probably would do that. They'd probably vote for the things that don't make sense together. Oh, yeah, you all make it real cursed. But if we did it like where we had to order stuff individually for it, we'd almost have to have like different polls. So like if you all chose the CPU, we need to have another one for motherboards. We need to have another one for, you know, we need compatibility at least that it works. It could be really cursed, but we want it to at least work. This is one we got to remember. And then set it on fire. Okay, well, we're not gonna burn it. <laughs> you all are so destructive. Can, any, can this gaming PC you? survive? Guys, we can't be destroying stuff for the fun of it. We had our store destroyed, and that wasn't fun. I, you know, yeah, I didn't like it. That wasn't fun. Maybe McAllister did it. <laughs> McAllister always pushed us to do like destruction videos. He's just like destroy stuff, destroy stuff. Yeah, he was so excited when we told him about the HP one. Yeah. Why do you ever want to set things on fire? Because y'all are a little arsonists. What? See, that's the kind of stuff you would have us do. And then you get us in trouble on the internet. But we do it anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Well, actually. <laughs> I'm never going to read that differently, by the way. If you're actually saying, well, actually, I'm always going to read it as, well, actually. <laughs> Building our PC? No, it's 944. We're chilling. We're just vibing. You heard it from Matt first. We do it anyways. That's true. He said that's the point. Well, actually. I like that case smile. Yeah, it's a pretty cool case. Let me get that. Well, it'll be up on PC Bros probably end of the day today. This, this case is like a time capsule when you think about it. It never yeah, opens. This is one of those cases that I could see somebody who bought it back in like 2014, 2015, like just building a new PC inside and just keeping it. Oh, yeah, forever. Because they just love it. 
I mean, honestly, that, that was definitely as, uh, a big thing back then was like yeah. whenever anyone planned builds they would spend way more on their case and power supply and just reuse that for multiple builds honestly it's a valid strategy it works you said to make sure like there, there is some things that got dated like obviously yeah. the whole white uh led fans um hard drives obviously like all this area is now really not used for anything the dvd drives can okay, also do a davinci resolve tutorial well he did a davinci resolve to like challenge um, but he doesn't edit in DaVinci Resolve, he edits in Premiere. So a lot of the tutorials you'll see on Trusted DIY will be Premiere based. Um, why is everyone waking up and choosing violence towards PCs? Because, I don't know, man, I don't know. Did you see that my the Slack message this morning about the build Andrea did? No. So it's funny enough, guys, It's a, I think that'd be a B tier, or B tier perspective power supply, it's mm -hmm. one of the Seagotep ones, I believe. Um, and the build, like, I noticed yesterday, like, you know, it was on, everything's working, but it has, like, terrible coil line. And yeah. Like, I'm normally the type to say, if it's very minute, um, let's just YOLO it, and if the customer ends up complaining, we'll get them taken care of. Yeah. Uh, but this was one where I'm like, I'm like, hey, we can't, we can't send this. We're going to yeah. need to take the power supply out and RMA it. But um, <laughs> I noticed this morning, I sent you guys a video. It was just, like, not, like, boot. Like, I, I saw it. It's like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. So I went to sleep. And like every two seconds, it's like turning on, off, oh, on, no. off, on, That's off. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what is? Ha I think it's, I think it's the power supply. Oh, that's scary. Sorry, guys, I missed some of your questions. How about a contest to make a pre-built business class PC glow up using things from Dollar General? <laughs> I don't really know. You could, do I mean, can you really do a PC mod using stuff from Dollar Tree? Maybe. Dollar General is better. Dollar General is not just all the dollar stuff. Well, I don't think Dollar Tree is even just all the dollar stuff anymore. I'm the wrong. Oh, there we go. Would you recommend that over DaVinci? Um, he, so Premiere is, it, it's like a drug. <laughs> Premiere is very bad for you in terms of like what it can do to you long term mentally. <laughs> um, but if you're good at it, <laughs> you just stick with what you know. Um, I would probably lean, if you could learn DaVinci, I would learn DaVinci. DaVinci? I would learn it because. I've only heard good things about it. Premiere is one of those where like, if you're really good at Premiere, there will be people who are like, I am just in Premiere because I know everything about it, but there are certain things about it that they despise. I wonder if Instagram will ever um, like do like the reels and like, I mean, it has its own section, but I wonder if they'll ever like, kind of YouTube shorts and the videos are like, totally separate. No. Is it almost like, I mean, obviously I'm not like, it, it, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look as cool anymore, you know? Yeah, it, used to, all... it used to be like nice like that, like just PCs. Yeah, well, they don't separate them. I'm sure they probably will eventually. I feel like once more people do them too. Five, we did a five below um, setup using the, what was it, the Buga? It was Buga, yeah. Buga stuff. That was like. That was a long time ago. Yeah. That was one of those ones where, because um, I feel like I rarely find stuff like that because I, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not out as much, but I was surprised to find at five below. Like, that I feel like the gym. mic was horrendous. <laughs> yeah, no, I, mean, I don't even think it worked. No. I feel like I remember selling all that stuff to, to James at some point too. Dollar Tree is okay for zip ties, short, extended. Oh, I mean, yeah, that'd be a fun, like, things you could get from, like, a dollar store to, like, improve your PC, I guess. That's true. Like, things that people wouldn't think of yeah. even that, you know, go to your setup. Yeah. Uh, that is why I'm not swapping for DaVinci. It is what I've used for, like, three to four years. What? Not like I'm doing anything wild with it. Mostly throwing clips together. Yeah, and I think DaVinci's in its very early stages where it's probably going to be, especially if you want to take video editing seriously, if you ever want to, like, be a video editor, um... Even for YouTubers, like DaVinci is probably going to be something like it's going to be a required thing on like a resume. Yeah, I'm definitely curious to see if um, DaVinci keeps doing what they're doing with the whole like, you know, it's free mm -hmm. up until you want to do like some higher end Renders, um, outputs yeah. and stuff like 4K because that's like stupid clutch. Like they, should, even then, they it, should keep that. It's a one time license. that's like, what, two, three hundred dollars? Yeah. And like that's so cheap. Vegas, remember Vegas itself was like a grand or something yeah, stupid back in the that day. Is so cheap. I'm glad we're past that days because I used to hate the fact that you could buy a license and then once they came out with a new version of it, a lot of times that license did not transfer, which you is like the biggest. You can export in game. 4K. Uh, wait, you can export in 4K with free, but not in short form. Really? Huh? I mean, I honestly, I think our short forms we render out 1080p anyways. We have 2,200 followers on Threads. I still like try to post the threads here and there, but I'm just like, I don't even know. I mean, actually, you know, the posts actually get likes. I guess that's something. Chat. 
we're gonna do a poll on Threads users. When, have you opened Threads in the past week? Go. I'm gonna pay Caleb real quick for that uh, sign before I forget. We got a no, no. Is anybody? Jay Dorsey was one. Okay. I said I think so. <laughs> no, no. I will say it is the social media app I hear the least about. Yeah, and it's not it's not like it's bad. It's just it's what's threads? That's a no. <laughs> it's just another like it's to me it's like all the people that are using Instagram and mm. Facebook like Instagram and Facebook. People that use yeah. Twitter like Twitter. So yeah. like to me it's like why would you completely I mean you're literally you're restarting making, yeah, all of the stuff. That's probably my least favorite part about social media is like I hate I know some people love fresh starts. I hate it. Like I still have pictures from like 10 years ago on, on my stuff, you know? You value your sanity, but you avoid Twitter. Fair. I've pretty much curated our Twitter account. Well, the Tozy West Twitter account is just a bunch of people posting PC stuff. There's occasional like random drama of people like arguing with each other, but other than that, it's just PC stuff and we post random PC stuff. And then um, my personal Twitter account is just UK basketball stuff. So and that's just a bunch of arguing all the time. Sometimes the, 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 the UK like trickles over. It does trickle over because there's times I'll open up like the Toasty Bros one and something pops up and I'll click on it and I'll be like, oh shit, I'm on the Toasty Bros one. And then like our entire like recommended feed is UK stuff. I'm like, god damn it. Uh, I get Caleb a little extra for all the, uh, I felt bad because in like all those times he goes to Sam's Club and like Costco. And buys us like pizza and stuff like that. I was like, here's a little extra for some food. Yeah, buddy. I mean, he does get us a lot of stuff. He brings us those muffins all the time. Yeah, I told Zach, um, other uh, PC Bros, Zach, to send me the file that he's been sending to people because he said it's off the G drive. I'm like, I have no clue which one that'd be because I'm yeah. like, because he keeps saying, can you get Zach to give me a higher quality one? I'm like, there, I may have, you may already have the highest quality one, so I'm like, send I me the one that you have. He may, I thought Zach made a vectorized version. He may have, but I have no, I've looked at like the PC Bros drive and like folder and I don't mm. see it. It's $2.95 to purchase DaVinci. Now the question is, do you get all future updates at $2.95? That was and the like, issue with uh, Vegas, is if there was ever a new release, you'd have to pay for the new version. Wouldn't that be wild if you had to pay for updates too? Like, like each yeah. update's like five bucks. If you get all the updates and it's a two ninety five one time fee, then beautiful. We would have been creating content for about four, well, Toasty Bros, we were doing for about four to five years. Because we started in 2014, we kind of became an LLC in 2019. So about four years before we realized we could um, do it full time. And I think even back then it was kind of like, well, we still had like some other things that we were doing. So it was like debatable. Um, I think like, well, like 2020, maybe, maybe early 2021 was when we were like, oh yeah, this is definitely like yeah. full time. Uh, well, I know it was definitely, well, it was kind of like what we knew it was full time, but it just took me one to quit that one job. And then I was just like, I'm ready to be done with this. How much? And we figured yeah. out like a number that would make sense. Cause I was just doing basically, I mean, I would consider I was like one foot in the door full time where my other job was being a YouTube consultant and I did that like very, very part time. And then I was finishing up school also. We're gonna test it out like the PC. Um, <clears throat> this one, I mean, maybe Zach at PC Rose. Uh, we'll do some benchmarks on it, but uh, no, we will probably not test it out. We will get all the RGB um, synced up, whether it's uh, probably white. I think Jonah will probably want to do all white, which will look super sleek in this build actually. Mm. What's up, Uber to Pigeon? How's the PC working out for you? What kind of games you playing? I know that they were uh, they were talking about streaming. Did, did, oh. did you end up streaming? I can't remember. The PC can definitely do it. There's a tank right here. Conk, conk. This is my random calling up people who follow. It's just in. Thank you for the follow. Type in chat if you're here. It's just in. I need to see you. I felt so bad when Joan and I did that one stream. I, I always forget that that exists on the right because I'm yeah. just still so used to the Twitch panel yeah. um, or the Twitch chat. And uh, we had like a level three hype train happen and I did not acknowledge it at all. Oh, no. I acknowledged it about 30 minutes later. And I was like, thank you for all these subs and bits. I've been playing COD, Fork Knife, uh, Forza Horizon 5, and Free Others. Sick. 
Any fond plans for PC Bros coming up? Fixing our door. <laughs> I just thought, you know what? I was thinking about that. I'm like, during, so the Sunday streams and that one Jonah and I did, we definitely get less viewers and uh -huh. less interaction, obviously, but I'm like, I always notice the Sunday streams. I'll have <coughs> sometimes half the viewers, yeah. but I feel like I get as many, if not more, like donos and subs and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, no one likes spending money in the morning. They don't. I just not thought, it's like, early. I don't like spending, it just doesn't sound right. Like, I don't yeah. want to whip my card and my wallet out to, like, you know, update my, my uh, bits and stuff like that in the morning. Oh, wife and I have been playing the heck out of a Desk Beat X300 build. Nice. Th those are fun. Those are really easy to build what in. What specs did you end up doing? Only limitation, it was something <laughs> we discovered last minute because it's like, <coughs> it's like a special motherboard they made is it doesn't support Gen 4, but oh, yeah. it's still really good. You fix doors and windows for a living? Do you live near Louisville, Kentucky? Can you do it today for nothing? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're ready to pay. Not but. commercial doors. Uh, it's like a mm. storefront door, so. It's like all aluminum and glass. I'm from Owensboro. Oh. Okay, so you're about two hours away if you're still living there. Exact same. I mean, 4060? I don't think it's 47 low profile. <laughs> if you, dude, if, you're, if you found that, tell us more. And I think the 4060 we used was a single fan one in that build because you didn't really need a low profile in it. But if you got a low profile, cool. Uh, is Kermit, so Kermit is sponsored by y'all. What would it require to me to get to that point? So how it kind of works, um, Too Easy Tim, is first of all, we're, we're obviously kind of slowing down kind of like the, the smaller creators we work with unless it's like borderline free because in all honesty, when you have like, I'd say a thousand or less subs and you're not getting like tons of views, it's very rare that we see any type of conversion like with sales. Um, so... You know, it just depends. You know, there's some people that we pay in uh, just straight PayPal. There's some people I know that we've worked out deals with where it's like, oh, we'll give you, um, you know, this much credit at like PC Bros for like a gift card, merch, stuff like that. You'll do it for free. I mean, you can advertise for free all you want. I mean, we'll, we'll give you full permission to uh, be a sponsor. We can give you, uh, so you can sign up for the affiliate. That's one way. If you want to do it for free where it doesn't take any of Matt and I's time, but you can get money is uh, go to PC Bros. There, uh, isn't there just like a, a tab up top called affiliate? Is that right? Yes. It's still there. Um, you should be able to find a tab up at the top of PC Bros that says affiliate that'll bring you to like this link. And um, it's super simple. I think you just have to type in your name, uh, email, and then PayPal or like PayPal email. And uh, you get $15 every time someone uses your code. And what we can also do on top of that um, is we can technically, whatever you end up making your code, if you let us know what that code is, we can actually give a small discount along with that code. So you can basically get $15, um, but we realized a lot of people, like why use affiliate if it doesn't give you a discount? Yeah. Um, so a lot of people, what we've done is given them like two to 4% along with their code. Yeah. So you get 15 bucks and your viewer would get two to 4% off of one of our builds or merch or whatever. Got the coffee today. Yeah, it's got like a little kettle of coffee. How'd that happen? A little creamy. <laughs> a little creamy. Cream team. Cream team. Cream squad. Team. Cream squad. <laughs> BIOS tutorial, please. Go to PC. Do we have anything on the BIOS? Like, I could have sworn we did. We might have something on PC Bros. If you go to the PC Bros YouTube channel, there's a ton of additional tutorials. What exactly are you looking for, like BIOS? I, that's something I could actually. I don't yeah. know why, but that sounds fun to me. Yeah. I don't right. know what any of it means in the BIOS, but it sounds fun. You can just almost do like a <laughs> top five important settings in the that's, BIOS. That's what I was thinking. I, and I wouldn't mind just doing like maybe a, a really cheap older BIOS and then yeah. like a nicer like Z690 BIOS and just showing like the similarities and the differences. <laughs> yeah, or there's that. Lots of information on YouTube from other YouTubers. Thank you for that. Nice. <laughs> ah, it's Jonah. Jonah. You like this build, dude? I'm this this is one where I think we gotta go all white, man. It's it's yeah. a cooler master, by the way. So the usual uh, software that you've been doing. Oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just the USB two plugged into like a hub. Cool. This case was and never opened. It was new in box, and it's from twenty September of twenty fourteen. Wow. So this case is ten years old. And then the power supply, literally on the front of the box, it was sealed. It says twenty seventeen edition. I'm like I love that. It means. Seven-year-old power supply, ten-year-old case, but they're all new in box. All new, baby. Never ran. That's cool. That's, that's, that's a cool case. That's a cool case. No, it's actually pretty pretty fire for being as old as it is. You got film on it still. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, it was, like, unopened, unopened. The power display even had the, uh, the like, the factory seal on it. Mm-hmm. Wow. I fi- yeah, I figured you'd like this case, Michael. You like a lot of the older cases. This one's fire. Are we shipping this one? I think so. Yeah. I was going to do local only, but then I'm like, we have the foam and the box. Like, the box is new. big, but... I think I'll put right, this thing, put 32 pounds. We're yeah. going to find somebody to raid. Here's Jonah. Jonah can talk to you. <laughs> Hi, generic white male Good morning, three. chat. Good morning, That's chat. That's how I describe myself. I'm no longer Jackson. I'm generic white male three. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest. I had probably, like, the best night of sleep in my life. Dude, I wish I could say the same. I woke up at... Because oh. I, you should see the, the office, by the way, Zach's office. But I decided to wake up at 625 oh. so that I could come in early. I had to go to Lowe's, grab some sanding blocks, came in, sanded all of it down, got it painted, and it, you can't even tell like it was ever drywalled now. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it needed some work, but that's good. You still have a case from 2000 that's all aluminum? That's pretty fire. That's cool. This case looks like a massive PS5. I, could, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if no. I can see it. It's just because it's white. Oh, you know, okay, the white and black. I, I, okay, there you go. Dude, who is blowing? Is this slack or this something? What's blowing slack. my... Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the separate messages. Yep. Well, we're, we're off to a raid, guys. All right, guys, we'll be live uh, tomorrow, same time as usual.